Hi everybody, welcome back to Evo Land 2. That's right, Jatai is dead. We killed him inside this spooky old dungeon. And we're back out here in the world. Uh, about to cross this bridge. What was here? Oh yeah, it was what's-her-face. It's the old grandma, right? BB. You can like buy potions and stuff from her. I don't want to see BB again. The Mayen Bridge. This is uh, Jatai restored this bridge. Oh, nice. It's just like a little wooden bridge. And, and there's a whole bunch of slimes too. Okay, fine. Let's kill the slimes. Let's pick up all the pennies. Let's do uh, one of these. Or maybe not. On the rock. I was gonna... Uh, maybe we can get He-Man to like bust it down. Look at these fucking squirrels. Whoa. Does squirrel have, have an acorn helmet? What the shit? Oh man, I love the music actually. It's really nice. Do 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 do. All right, so we have to cross the bridge and get down to. Oh no, it's a big bridge. I was lying. I was just being a bit facetious. Sorry about that. Hey, who's this? Oh shit, what's that? There's got to be some treasures over here, right? It's like a treasure in the pond, maybe. When are we gonna get like some weapons and shit? That'd be fucking sweet. Anyone? Hello? Oh no! How did this big rock get here? Hello? <laughs> For sure, our boss is tough enough to smash that boulder. I tell you though, he's stubborn as a freaking goat. He barely ever leaves that haunted forest. You'd have to force him to move his hiney over here, but nobody dare. I mean, he just scares everybody off. But deep down, he's a really nice guy. Hello? Hi there! It's not often you see somebody on this side of the bridge. We used to call this Mayan Bridge, but a hundred years ago, a boulder fell and blocked it. That was my fault. No one's ever been able to remove it. Then again, since the war ended, people don't really come out to Demonia anymore. Anyway, I doubt any human will ever break that boulder. Yeah? Guess what? I have the power of He-Man. There. I do not think I have the strength to break this boulder for now. What the fuck? How do I do it? How do I get He-Man to break the boulder? Do I have to go back to BB or something? What the fuck? Did I like totally miss something? Maybe we have to make him practice on small boulders. Here, practice on a small boulder, He-Man. You can't even break a small boulder. What fucking chance do we have for Christ's sake? Alright, let's go back to BB. Let's go back to BB and give her like the essence of Jatai so she can make a potion for He-Man. That's gotta be the way forward, right? Okay, fine. Here we go. We're heading back. I didn't want to have to speak to BB. I don't even remember what cool voice I used for BB. I think it was like, uh... Nah, we'll have to see anyway. BB? Hello. Hi, how are you? Ah, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? Uh, I would like to buy a potion. I hope you brought me the good stuff, my sweet gummy bear. I sure did, BB. That's right. Guess what? I brought you some mana. What do you want me to do with that, my BFG 9000? What can I do for you, darling? Nothing. You know what you're asking me, my little peach cobbler? <laughs> First, I can only proceed with the awakening if you bring me enough mana. Mana's that life energy, extremely rare stuff, and even then, if the woken individual isn't ready to accept the awakening, they'll die. Okay, well, I don't think anyone's dead. What do you want me to do with that, my little pony? <laughs> I don't want anything, BB. What can I do for you, darling? Nothing. See you soon, my rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, fucking holy shit. She is really, um, she's really quite the gal. Okay, fine. We want to use the mana. Natural life energy. Guaranteed 100% sustainable, eco-friendly, and gluten-free. Okay, well, how do I use it? I, I want to put it onto, I want to put the mana onto fucking He-Man so that he can break the goddamn rock. Maybe I can just, like, drop the mana. Look at, she's, like, step, she's sitting on a mana. Excuse me, baby. Oh, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? I fucking want to make a mana potion, for Christ's sake. No. She doesn't want to make me a mana potion. Okay, fine. So we have to go back to the rock, and maybe we have to imbue fucking T-Man with the power of mana. Maybe if we, like, use mana on one of these guys. It's not giving me, like, an option, though. Like, if I just... No? Fine. Okay, let's see, He-Man. What do you think? I do not think I have the strength to break this boulder for now. Hey man, how do I actually, like, imbue you with a mana? Oh, look. There's, like, a thing right here for the mana. Look, I have, like, a mana thing here. How do I do uh, things with my inventory? Does anyone know? I don't fucking know. I mean, I can't even use that. 
mode challenge sounds music. Like, what's all this stuff? Look, can I, I want to imbue He-Man with the power of 10 manas, and I don't know how to do it. Maybe I have to go back and speak to Jetai. Hi there, it's not often blah 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 blah. Yeah, 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 jeez. Maybe there's like a secret place over here that I missed. Maybe there's like a cave like under these bushes and you go down and it's BB. Hey guys, it's me, BB. That's right, I live in this cave normally. I know I saw you just up topside, my little BFG 1003, but uh, listen here, my little Rony Pony and uh, Boney Maloney. I got a little tip for you. Yeah, just just put, shove that mana right up old He-Man's patootie and you know, watch the fireworks happen. It's gonna be something truly fucking spectacular, you stupid fucking adventuring children. Ah. I mean, I don't think BB would ever say that, but <laughs> you never know. Maybe we have to go back to this mountain. Maybe the mana only works at the top of the mountain. We're going back to the bluff. There. By the power of mana, make He-Man whole again. Oh no, look, it's totally busted. We can't do it. Hey, He-Man, try to bust it more. Boom. No, he didn't like that. Fucking, it's got to be something to do with BB, but maybe we should go back and speak to fucking Jatai. Is, is Jatai just chilling or what? I don't want to have to fucking go through this dungeon again. That'll fucking teach me. Jesus, I should pay attention to what sh what's happening in the game. I mean... This this does tend to happen from time to time, right? Fucking okay. I think I I think I can just about remember how to get back to Jatai, and I don't think we have to do the whole dungeon again. Look, you just like take this little shortcut here, just like cruise up along here, and then we come back down. And the, I know the forest is haunted, but it's fine. I mean, I think we'll be all right in this case. All right, fine. So we just go into here. Look, we get all these like extra pennies too. Let's just chalk it down to we're farming. We're just doing some farming. Eh, there we go. Okay. All right, Jetai, I'm coming to see you. Are you here still, or did you swim away? No, oh, no, he's back. Okay, Jetai, how do I do it? You want to have another fight? Maybe he does. Hi, friends. It's good to see you again, even if my pot's budget exploded. I hope you are having a good time. Yeah, yeah, we're having a great time. How do I use, like, the... Do I have to maybe use the thing here for him to, like... Yeah, yeah, use it. Bong, bong, bong. Okay, using it a lot does not help. Alright, fine. Jatai, thanks for the help. Alright, well, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Yeah, if only I'd been paying attention to what he said. I mean, we can get... I wonder if maybe poopers... I wonder if poopers can, like, move the rock. Or maybe you have to, like, launch poopers at the rock. And then she hits it with such a tremendous impact that her stupid-ass head just explodes all over the side of the rock. He-Man starts to laugh uncontrollably. He doesn't really like her. Finds her kind of annoying because he's like so logical. It's like Spock-like in his logic. Um, and he uh, loses control of his um, bowels slightly. Uh, does a little puffle. But it's such a tremendous puffle that um, it ends up blowing the old, um, old boulder into like a billion pieces. All right, fine. Fine, Boulder. Maybe you win this time, maybe you don't, because guess what? Okay, well that didn't do jack. I don't know if there's like a secret thing that I'm missing. Am I missing like some sort of secret thing? Maybe I just like hit it a couple of times? He-Man definitely can't break it. He-Man, you want to go for a little swim? No, no, he doesn't really want to go for a swim either. Okay, uh, I've been like everywhere I can think of that we could imbue He-Man with a magical power, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and by that, of course, I mean with the mana. We couldn't make a potion with BB. So that just leaves... Um, Jatai doesn't want to know either. He's like done his bit. He's done. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore about anything. Because I guess we like stole his herbal essences or whatever. These guys don't really give me any of a clue either. And... I do not think I have the strength to break this boulder for now. He-Man doesn't think he has the strength to break this boulder for now. All right, it's gotta be something to do with BB. I've been looking around everywhere trying to figure out what to do next. The only person I can even talk to is BB. 
I don't know if she wants the mana, though. I tried to make a potion with BB and the mana before, but... BB? Ah, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? Uh, wake an ally, buy a potion. Nothing. Maybe I just have to, like, use the mana in front of her. Let's try that. Okay, where is it? It's, like, right here. Mana. Mana. Here you go. It's gluten-free. BB, do you like a gluten-free mana? Ah, oh, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? Uh, buy a potion? I hope you brought me the good stuff, my sweet gummy bear. Mana. What do you want me to do with that? My BFG 9000? What can I do for you, darling? Do you know what, uh, yeah, first I can only proceed with the awakening if you bring me enough mana, blah, blah, blah. Even then, yeah, awakening, they'll die. Alright, fine. Let's do awakening with the mana. Will that work? Oh, wonderful. You dug up some mana? Let's start off with this beefy one. Okay, finally! I knew it was something to do with BB. What the fuck? I was here before and I tried this and I just didn't go through with it? I thought it was something to do with, like, reviving a dead person? No? Okay. Let's start off with this beefy one. He'll make an ideal test subject. Oh. Oh, okay, perfect. Here we go. Here we fucking go. He-Man is getting imbued with the power of Grayskull. Upgrading powers. He-Man's powers reach level 2. You can focus longer to unleash a more powerful attack. Okay, wonderful. Alright, BB, thanks, Toots. What can I do for you, darling? Nothing. See you soon, my rubber ducky. Alright. Love you, BB. Bye-bye. Fucking sweet. Okay, great. We move along, then. Ah, now, 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 now. We can charge up for longer with He-Man. And we should be able to bust this boulder now. Hey, guys. Check this out. He-Man in the house. Level 2. What'd you think of that, guys? No? No? Okay, fine. No reaction whatsoever. Great. It was totally worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like quite the, quite the fanfare we were met with. Alright. Other side of the bridge. We've made it. Oh. Dot Dot. Look. Look at that! Oh, nice. The fuck? What happened here? Where's my village? My parents? My friends? Poopers, you liar. He didn't have any friends. <laughs> Everything's gone! Yeah, it's like a big crater here. It looks like some sort of, like, mining excavation site. I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our time period. We have to find out what happened. Let's try Genova. Somebody there should be able to tell us. Okay. Here's Genova. Should we go here instead, though? Sierra Harbor? Nah. We'll go to Genova. Let's, uh... Watch poopers, like, descend into some sort of, like... Acute madness. Hey, what's up? You are now entering the great trade capital, Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble and we'll ensure your safety. Oh, okay, thanks, guys. Cool spears. Feel really safe now. Hey, you just got to Genova, right? It's obvious from your tan. You've spent too much time outdoors. In Genova, my de delicate skin is... I almost said delectable. <laughs> skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays by the vapors of the smug. <laughs> nice. This town is enveloped with smug. Maybe we just have to, like, ask around. Hey, What's the date and time right now? Sure, the Great Disaster flattened a whole part of the continent, but that's also where we got smug from. As they say, all's well that ends well, right? Hehehe. <laughs> well, uh, except for all the victims of the Great Disaster, of course. But then, apparently, they didn't suffer at all. Boom! Gone in an instant. I mean, I don't know much about it, eh? I wasn't born yet. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, nice. Sweet. Okay. That's, um... It's really interesting. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's this? Look, Dot Dot, the Imperial Library. I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day, it was known for its many documents. I bet if we go there, we'll find out plenty about this time period. They're also likely to have something on the location of the Megaliths. We'll have to find another one to get back home, seeing as the one that got us here was destroyed. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to get back to our, our normal time. But Megaliths are quite rare. And even if we were able to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention, it could end up taking us to an entirely new era. He-Man! Stop being so defeatist! 
What else can we do besides try? Dot, dot, dot. Nothing we can do will change anything. My people, my son, all of them dead. Arg. Dot, dot, I think He-Man is going to need some time to adjust. Let's try finding information as fast as we can. All right, poopers. Dot, dot, dot. All right, to the library. This door is closed. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hi. I'm looking for some information. Library access is restricted to researchers. They're the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. Who'd want to read books anyway? Utterly pointless. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Fucking owned. That's right. If you're out there listening right now and you like reading books, <laughs> this game just fucking owned you so hard. Hello? When I gaze at this fountain, I think of the future. The prophet has revealed it to us. He alone holds the truth. Water will wash over the world and all will be flooded. The great destroyer is already at work, but the prophet will save us. Okay, cool. That's some good information. What about you? When I was young, I often came and played in the streets of Genova. But after the great disaster, the city became a terrible place with the traitors and the prophet seizing power. And the smug makes me cough and many residents have fallen sick as well. Ever since, I've cut down on trips to Genova as much as possible. All right, okay, so there's a lot of smug, apparently. Hey, what's up? My plan's to work in the militia for a few years. After that, I'll save up and become a wealthy trader. Could happen. It's in our constitution, even. Well, very few have done it so far, except for the sons of traders, of course, but that's only natural, right? Anyway, I'll be one of the first to make it big. I just need to pull myself up from my bootstraps. Okay, let's go in here. Is this Walk Donald's? What's up? I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way I save up money to buy myself a meal at Walk Donald's every once in a while. Makes me drool just thinking about it. Oh man, I fucking could really go for a Walk Donald's right now. What's in here? After a long day, members of the militia come and rest here in the old Imperial Guard Room. It's funny to think that a hundred years ago, during the war, soldiers actually lived here. They must have had they must have had very skilled lieutenants to have won the war. Hey, look at this guy. He's just maxing and relaxing back here. Do we want to talk to him, though? Uh, I guess we probably should. I don't know who we're meant to be talking to right now, so... If the prophet has his rules, so does the militia. First rule of the militia, you do not talk about the militia. Second rule of the militia, you do not talk about the militia. And don't even ask about rule 34. Oh, man. Okay, finally, a fucking reference that I get. I mean, everybody's seen that movie, right? The one with, um... What's his face? Tyler Durden. Old Tyler Durden. Saku, let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yes. Yep, Saku, I got it. Brilliant. How about you, Ribbon? Do you have the map? <laughs> yeah, boss. I've got the map. <laughs> awesome. I hereby declare... Spring break! Oh no, it's Operation No Toys But Plenty of Books has begun. Okay. Sweet. Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for our operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Uh, no. Mimi, it's not just your operation. It's all of ours. And so, might I suggest, Operation Saku and her friends. No way. Why should there only be your name in our operation? Come on, kids. Just call it Operation whatever and just fucking get on with it. Uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. Whoa, give me that key. If I get caught, I won't get dessert for at least three days. Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. Oh my god. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, so why not call our operation, Operation Books for Ribbon? No! Boo hoo 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 hoo. You guys are so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. Ribbon. Come on. Dry your eyes, mate. Don't throw a fit. Dot dot dot. Hey, how about we go back to our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone return to HQ. Fuck, these guys are all talking no rock, aren't they? Hey, 
wait for me, you guys. Oh, I slipped on a banana peel. Where did they go? Where's the HQ? Hey, who's this? This is my dad. The disciples train at the Prophet's Pyramid west of here. It's got a big eye engraved on it. You can't miss it. Oh shit. It's fucking Illuminati. Fucking dead. Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for children whose parents died in the war. Nowadays, it's a home for people bankrupted by the traitors and who have nothing left. I would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault if they're in debt, right? Makes you wonder why they do it. Didn't anybody tell them what might happen? Holy shit, that's some fucking deep dark shit. Alright. I mean, this is all fine and dandy, but Jesus Christ. Give, throw me a freaking bone here, game. I just want to progress. Can I buy something? Hello there. We have lots of high quality equipment for sale. All forged with the power of the smug. Take your pick. Smug belt. Okay. Sure. Buy a smug belt for 100G? Yeah, why not? Got a smug belt. You don't want to tighten this one too much. Okay, great. Smug boots? 150 G's? Yeah. Oh, man. This is pretty fucking cool. Alright, now they just smell like smug. Okay, fine. Let's quit. Thank you. Come back soon. Can I actually... Oh, he's put them on already. Okay, sweet. We've got the smug belt and the boots. Alright, excellent. I want to talk to those people. Who lives here? Oh, this is the tavern. Okay, we'll get some information from the tavern, right? There's got to be somebody in here who knows what's up. Hey, what's up? My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Ah, but perhaps you would like to rest for a while. No, I'm fine for now, thanks. I'm gonna go out to the courtyard. I guess that's HQ. Hey, baby! What's up? It's getting harder to find non-smug and rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty. They've got brighter colors, but they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that stuff to cook up some proper plates of food? Oh, fucking, I don't know. Jeez, you figure it out, for Christ's sake. Jeez, how do I get to the fucking courtyard? It's like up here. Do I have to go up here? No. It's just a fucking bunch of, like, soldiers and shit. Fucking play. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of kids here. Hey, what's up? What's your story? Step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? Shit, I wanted to talk to your mom. Is this your mom? Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough... We want for nothing, but my husband is away very often and compensates by bringing our girls presents. I think they'd be better off if he were around more. I can't discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. Oh my god. It's like parenting 101. Don't fall into that trap. Jeez. You're toast. You're gonna be toast. Alright, we have to go to the courtyard, which is like through here, I guess. I just like missed that light. Alright, this is the HQ. Look, they've got a treasure chest back here too. Hey, what's up? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? Just passing through, I'm looking for the key. The key? What key? Do you think I'm an idiot or something? Well, yeah. Give me the key. That? No, it's nothing. It's empty. I want that treasure chest, girls. Watch out, girls. There's a creepy guy staring at us. You fucking give me this stupid chest, huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? I want to help you. Operation Super Mario? <laughs> Let's try that. I want... Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. But help us with what exactly? Good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. I want to help out with Operation Books for Toys or whatever. Make a wish. You want to help us do what exactly? Steal books? Get toys? I just need the key? Let's get toys? What for? We don't need no stinking toys. We're not little girls who play with dollies. We do much more interesting stuff than that, right girls? Yeah, Saku. <laughs> For sure. So, you see? Keep your toys. Besides, they're illegal here. Oh, man. Toys are illegal here? What the hell? Okay, we have to go through all this again. I want to help you... Steal books? Seriously, are you nuts? Are you working for the Prophet Secret Service or something? Do you really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it. You're too green to try and nab us. Why am I fucking talking to these stupid kids, huh? Who are you? I want to help. Just give me the damn key. I just need the key. Say, you know what? I like people who are direct, who know what they want. So say you find this key of yours, like maybe in a safe or a chest or something, and maybe you use it to get into the library, 
And in the library, say you find, oh, I don't know, a book? In this purely hypothetical scenario, would you bring it to us? Sure. You promise? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Cross your heart and hope to die? Fucking eat shit. Like, do you promise on your fuck off? Well, I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promise and you'll have nothing to worry about. I'm not fucking worried about you stupid kids. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Alright, you got the key to the library. It opens the gateway to knowledge and maybe new problems too. Okay, fine. Excellent. Alright, well, there we go. Another evil land too. We just had to fucking convince some kids to give us a key to the library. But it looks like we can get into the library and I think that's the next place that we need to go. Excellent. Took us a little while to figure out what was going on with old BB and the fucking awakening and stuff. But He-Man has now been upgraded and he can smash big boulders, which is a good thing, right? Maybe he can like smash these fucking kids too. He-Man, I call upon you. Kill all of these children. Good shot. Anyway, uh, we'll be back next time for some more Evil Land 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time! <laughs>